Okay, let's solve this uh, differential equation. What we have, uh, y double prime plus 4y equals secant of 2x. Now, on the right hand side we can see that we have this weird thing, secant 2x. When usually we have a nice polynomial, an e to some power, sine of something, cosine of something, we can use the undetermined coefficient method. But this doesn't qualify, so in this case I'm going to be using the variation of parameters method, the one with the Vronskian. So, to start off with, we're going to work on our yh, the homogeneous solution. That is y double prime plus 4y equals 0. We're going to write the characteristic equation for it, which is r squared plus 4 equals 0. Make sure you don't write an r accidentally here just because there's a y there. Okay, so r squared for this plus 4, just 4 for this term. Okay, equals 0. Now the roots of this equation is r squared equals minus 4. From this, my r1 and 2 will be plus minus square root of negative 4, which will give me plus minus 2 i which is a complex number my, our real part is zero plus minus beta i and our beta is our two now also for future reference we're gonna need it at some point i'm gonna write this here secant of 2x is the same thing as one over cosine of 2x now for more, most textbooks will give us a solution for this multiple complex roots when we run into this situation here it is the breakdown we can just utilize these and plug in our roots from here and find our solution that we are looking for so that's what i'm gonna do i'm taking the first root root one equals 2i and that's gonna give me y1 equals e to the alpha x cosine beta x alpha is my real part which is zero so this is one cosine beta x beta is my two so cosine 2 x same thing i'm gonna do for my second root which is r2 equals negative 2y now for the negative we're gonna be using the sine so y2 equals e alpha x sine beta x so alpha is zero again this part is one sine of 2x the negative that's why we are using the sine version not the cosine okay now to write up our homogeneous solution right here, simply take these two and plug them in. And don't forget about your constants. C1 times Y1, which is cosine 2x, plus C2 times Y2, which is sine of 2x. Now to solve for YP, I'm going to use the variation of parameters. And here's the formula for it. And as we can remember, we have W in it, which is our run skin. Okay, so we're going to have to go ahead and solve that first. Now, here's the run skin formula. So for this, I'm going to need Y1, Y2, and the first derivative of both of them. So that's what you can see happening here. Y1 and Y2. I took the derivative of Y1, derivative of Y2. Then let's go ahead plug it into the run skin right here and this is a determinant which means that we're gonna calculate it as this times this minus this times this okay now that's gonna be equal right here simplify it out that's gonna give us 2 cosine square of 2x plus 2 times sine square of 2x now we know from trigonometry that cosine theta squared plus sine uh, squared theta is equal to 1, right? Right there. So we can replace this whole shebang with 1, but make sure we factor out the 2 first. So then we're going to have 2 times 1, which is 2, which is good. Our run skin is not 0, linearly independent. Very good. Now back to our formula right here 
of yp. So now let's take all our components and plug them in. That's what we can see right here. So for y1, well there's a negative, make sure you don't forget it, we plug in cosine 2x, the integral of y2, which is sine 2x, times gx, which is what's on our the right hand side of our equation, which is secant 2x, divided by the Vronskian, which is 2, dx plus, we have y2, which is sine 2x, uh, the integral of y1, which is cosine 2x, times gx, which is secant of 2x, divided by our, our Vronskian, which is 2. Let's go ahead. We're going to have to do a bunch of simplification and then solve these two integrals. And that's what you see happening here. I simplify. I, I'm going to go ahead and use what we wrote up there. Was secant 2x equals 1 over cosine 2x. So that's going to help me reduce and simplify. And now we're getting to this form. Minus cosine 2x over 2 the integral of tangent 2x dx plus sine 2x over 2 integral of just simply dx. Now we perform these two integrals. Integral of tangent 2x is right here minus one half ln of cosine 2x and integral of 1 dx is basically just an x. There you go. Plug them in write them out a bit more nicer and here it is this right here is our y p okay so now all that is left is to write up our final answer which is y equals y h plus y p there it is let's plug everything in make sure we don't forget the constants where it's needed so c1 cosine 2x plus c2 sine 2x plus right here what we found our yp and which is cosine 2x over 4 ln of cosine 2x plus x times sine 2x over 2 and there it is that would be our answer make sure you guys give a thumbs up to the video thank you for watching